Let's do a visit data demo. And today I don't want to talk about a particular keyboard shortcut sequence for a really neat feature. Many of those exist. I want to talk about how I first appreciated the power of visit data, and that's its ability to look at many different formats very, very quickly. And for instance, visit data can actually open web pages. So if we open the web page for visit data formats, we can see that it found all the links and it makes those available to you, but it also has the table of the various formats. And in previous videos, I've given many demos showing me being able to analyze the JSON database of my bibliography, or to be able to look at JSON L dumps of Reddit archives and other sources. So in this case, given I have been interested in online advice forums, a colleague had mentioned that in Elizabeth Edwards' autobiography, she had a chapter where she talked about the passing of her son Wade at an early age, only 16, and how a Usenet news group, Alt Support Grief, had been very helpful to her. And I didn't know if I would use it. It's not an advice group per se, but I did read the paragraph, I mean, the, the chapter in her, well, I read her book, and then in that particular chapter here, I have my notes, and she does talk about the loss of her son, Wade, at a young age of 16. And I was wondering, like, what were the dynamics of that group back then? And the Internet Archive does make a number of Usenet news groups available in inbox format. It's not a great format. Uh, when you download these databases, they tend to be brittle and some fields aren't populated or some things might be a little mangled, uh, but that's okay. Visidata is fairly robust to those things. So again, Visidata can look at web pages. So if I go to the Internet Archive and I look at the table, I can find alt.support.grief and there it is and I can download that zip file. The archive tends to be a little bit slow because they don't have that many resources for all the amazing things they do. Uh, so I've already downloaded that zip file and I can open it in Visidata. Now zip format isn't that great. It's ancient and kludgy and it doesn't allow you to open it in a streaming manner such that you can immediately read it right from the start. You typically have to uncompress the zip file before you can even start looking at it. So in this case, let's see what happens. I'm in Visidata, I'm looking at the zip file. It sees something within the zip file. I click on it and I get, uh, can't find the mailbox. So, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe it doesn't work with zip files as I suspected. It might not because of the format, but I can hit X. It extracted it to an inbox file. Now when I click on it, it can actually indeed find it. So here we have the alt.supportgrief.mbox. It's loading it and it's found 88,000 messages posted between, let's see if I sort it. Again, the inbox format can be kludgy, but the first messages are from 2002. And then if I go, oh, from 1995, 2002, I did the sort order a little bit incorrectly. So let's see if we can find, was Elizabeth uh, posting under that particular username? So if we go to from, we can, uh, let's do a select of Elizabeth or Edwards. We found 314 messages. If we, if, if we do a frequency analysis on those names, There's the E.E. E. Edwards, wake4 at bellatlantic.net. That's interesting. Maybe that is a good uh, clue, but there's only one message. Let's go back and let's look for that, that pseudonym wake4. So again, let's uh, unselect the things I did before and let's select wake 
four. Let's zoom into that. Oh, I have to quit out of that and go back to the original sheet because that was a zoomed in sheet already. So again, let's search for wake four or let's select wait four. I found 121 matches. That seems like a reasonable amount of activity. Let's zoom into that. And we can look at some of the subjects. Fairly active. But I don't know if this was necessarily Elizabeth Edwards. I do know her son's name was Wade. So let's search for that in the subject. Um, two, another day with Wade. Wade would be 17 today. So Wade was 16 when he died, unfortunately. So indeed, I think this is the Elizabeth Edwards messages. It's heartbreaking to read of someone losing their son. So I didn't investigate this archive much. I didn't think it was very really relevant to my interest in historical advice forums online. And I think what you know, can be said, she said well in her autobiography. So I didn't dig into it much further. Nonetheless, it does show the power of Visidata to make old archives that might be in kludgy formats and compressed in not great formats easily accessible to you 